We're nearing the end of day two at the Future Blockchain Summit at Dubai Harbor. I'm Ronella Hernandez and I'm here with Summit from Walter Kranz PR yeah. Agency. Right. How's exactly. it going? Thank you. It's, everything is really good here and uh, we saw many similar friends, many similar events and uh, I saw many family uh, face here and uh, nice to see you here also. <laughs> yes, lots of people. So what do you think of the event so far? What did you expect to gain from it? Exactly, it's really good. Many global brands and uh, coming here the, all over the world. And uh, one month ago, I'm uh, I was in Singapore, token 249. Yeah. And one week ago, there is a World Summit, and you also in there. I know too many <laughs> events. Yeah, and I saw many similar friends and uh, like the same conferences. It's really good for us. Also, it's the big biggest uh, one of the biggest event in the world. Yeah. And, uh, Have you yeah. learned anything so far today? Any insights that you can share with us? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, the the market is the uh, right now is the decrease right now. But uh, if we solve together each other, the energy it will be. Uh, I, I think that it's increasing the uh, market also. Uh, the good energy is yeah, helping good energy. the market. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, maybe can I uh, talk a little bit uh, what we do? Yeah, yeah. For, tell me more about uh, Walter Kranz. Walter Kranz, right. Uh, normally, Walter Kranz is a PR, PR agency. We uh, work with uh, many global brands, mostly Web2 brands. Like, uh, is it correct or not? I don't know. Is the, Can I say some yeah. brand's name? Yeah. Who do you work with? Yeah, mostly we work with many global brands like Rolls Royce and PlayStation and uh, many DHL. Uh, okay. and, so you work uh, with them in Turkey? Yeah, in Turkey. And we have many uh, offices in Amsterdam, in uh, Dubai, in Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, and also we have many global clients. And we compare the uh, European market to Middle East market to Asian market also. Uh, it's really good. Is you know that we spoke before. Uh, Asia is and Middle East and uh, increasing the market also. The yeah. capital is moving from the United States to uh, these countries, and uh, it will be a good opportunity for us. And we saw many similar uh, faces and uh, similar brands. So, and how nice would you compare uh, the crypto community in Turkey versus the UAE yeah. in Dubai? Uh, Turkey is the biggest market in, the, in Europe right now uh, and uh, third biggest market in the world, I think that. Uh, my mom also uh, don't know anything about uh, trading or uh, finance, but uh, she has a, a many uh, accounts, cryptocurrency oh, accounts. thanks to you, I assume? No, not no? thanks to me. Oh. No, she <laughs> uh, no, some uh, our neighbors say that. You have to uh, buy some of this crypto and <laughs> my mom take it. Look at that, love yeah. it, love it. Everybody uh, use the uh, crypto. And why is that? Why do you think there's such a big adoption over there? Here. In Turkey? In Turkey. I, I, uh, I think that is the, is the uh, same thing, the global um, markets. It's not uh, It's good time or not, I don't know, in, for Turkey crypto sector. but. Uh, we think that uh, the market is uh, bigger and bigger day by day. Uh, next next year, maybe we are waiting the um, uh, bull, bull the bull run. Bull yeah. Run. What do you what do you think uh, are the factors that are going to trigger that next bull run? Uh, I think that uh, you know that this is the uh, this term is the financial revolution. I I mean that this is the financial revolution. Crypto and blockchain uh, take to these many opportunities. Uh, you, you know, more firstly, maybe money transaction from you can use the uh, many stable coins to transfer the money all over the world. It's a financial revo revolution, yeah, financial revolution, for, revolution for us. Yeah. Uh, if you look the history, the revolution uh, takes the one minimum one century, but we see the this revolution one uh, maybe ten years. Right. We it's see very many. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not uh, forbidable, it's not uh, strict, uh, it's uh, take the advantage day by day, actually. All right, and uh, yeah. since we are at the Future Blockchain Summit, I do have yeah. to ask, how do you envision the future of blockchain looking like? What kind of world would you like to live in? Uh, it's, I think that I'm the communication side of the, this sector, and we uh, operating the many press release distribution and uh, interviews opportunity and lobbying many of them PR is the capitalist uh, world tool actually 
but uh, I didn't uh, say anything actually uh, about the sectoral feature, but I know the uh, communi from the communication side actually. Uh, it's uh, take the advantage, uh, take the opportunity day by day. It's just saying this thing. So how would you leverage blockchain technology in your everyday life? Uh, mostly, uh, if we, how can I say, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, I, I think that it's not a correct uh, uh, answer to my to myself because I'm not uh, known the, directly the uh, no, deep. No, yeah. but how would you like? I'm saying like envision yeah. a world where for your job, maybe for the communication side, where yeah, you yeah. could use blockchain on a more regular basis. Uh, yeah, if I say for a communicator, yeah. uh, it's uh, on the centralized world as we have to uh, use uh, next century on this on this centralized world, because uh, you know the uh, some central uh, thing like uh, a newspaper and anything else, uh, it's on the Ratized world, actually. Right. Yeah, we move on the from here to on this right on this right world, and uh, next next ten years, next uh, twelve years, I don't know. But normally we are using right now that we are in the center of this world. Uh, the world is changing, and uh, blockchain support biggest changer into this world. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Many thanks today. for your interviews. <laughs> thank you. Enjoy the rest uh, of the conference. Thank you.